Namaste beautiful yogis, welcome to Ali Kamenova Yoga, I'm Ali and today we are doing a class that is I will call somatic pelvic integrity and this class is part of the membership but uh, I have not been able to shoot extra classes because we had uh, some technical um, uh, reboot so um, this is one of the membership classes that I wanted to share on here because I've been talking on Instagram a lot about the, the importance of the integrity of um, the pelvic structure and also Mula Bandha as an anatomical but also a spiritual part of the body I've been talking about repatterning the nervous system and also connecting to the root chakra, the earth, so that we can create alignment from, from the base, from the foundation up. And on a more practical level, of course, working uh, with strengthening and relaxing Mula Bandha so that we create uh, integrity in the structure and strength, but through releasing tension. So we create flexibility and relaxation, strength and alignment. It's, it's important in healing the back, if uh, you have back issues, back pain, hip pain, uh, misalignment, um, spine um, misalignment, core weakness, all of that is addressed through working on Mula Bandha. Of course, the more obvious thing, uh, bladder health, uh, reproductive health, sexual health, uh, mm, internal organ health, digestive organ health, eliminating uh, eliminative organ health, all of that is part of uh, the structure that we're working with on uh, during the pelvic uh, classes, the pelvic program. So this is one of the classes uh, on the membership and I hope you enjoy it. I think it has a lot of everything. Plus we're gonna work with the current energies of right now and don't worry the classes are evergreen whenever you come into a class it will be really uh, uh, something that lines up with um, the energetics of your life at the moment so whenever you find this class that's the right timing uh, but right now we have black moon lilith entering in taurus and black moon is the subconscious the unconscious the repressed feminine um, the latent talents, things that are really powerful in you that you feel shame expressing. It can be very connected to programming in society. Maybe uh, for me, for example, I know is um, Lilith is in fifth house in Leo. So for me, it's very much about self-expression and just being creative, something that I never thought I would go into. Um, ne it was more of a repressed talent. So... Uh, it's, it's along those lines, you look at your own chart, but without looking, you would know within your uh, psyche, subconscious. So with now Lily going into Taurus, Taurus is Gaia, the physical, and Lilith is just the repressed, the taboo, the unconscious, um, the suppressed feminine. We can really, really... Um, purge the physical, purge the body, cleanse the body um, and create new structure in the physical, repattern the nervous system, um, create a vessel that is a vessel um, for the new consciousness, hosting the new consciousness so we can embody the new consciousness. All right, so for more of these contemplations, go to my Instagram. Maybe I can talk about it in separate uh, videos, but uh, for the purposes of keeping the classes uh, short, I hope you enjoy it. Uh, really tune into the experience, um, into the somatic experience, because that is your guidance. That's how you will heal. And I'm very sorry, I'll have a second intro. This is the intro for YouTube, and now we're gonna go into the intro for the class, and uh, I can stamp or write below when the actual class begins. But enjoy the class, and remember to flow with strength and ease. We'll call it somatic pelvic yoga starting at the front roll the shoulders back and down and connect draw the sides of the abdominals inward so you're drawing them in one in inward and lifting the lower belly 
connecting to the perineum, mulabanda, and moving gently and feeling the movement. So bring your uh, consciousness into this area, the perineum, and just feel it as if your brain is there, as if you're actually there, consciousness there. And just experience your body from that perspective rather than from this perspective. Deepen the breath and create gentle movement in any way. You don't have to do what I'm doing. Just a gentle, natural movement, something that is already encoded, encoded in the body. Focus on the breath, focus on Mulabanda, focus on feeling it closing the eyes and just as if you can feel the nerves, as if you can feel the cells of the body, the muscles, the fascia, the tendons and ligaments and blood. experience of the pelvic floor, the fascia, mulabanda. Gently lifting the pelvic floor and if you feel tension there, you can bring in a tennis ball and massage all the muscles surrounding it. You can do that in a future class too. And as you lift Mulabanda, feel softness in the body, no resistance, no tension, no brute strength. Feel the power that comes from surrender. The gentle power, the in power. And now as you breathe here, into the perineum, into Mulabanda, and feel an extension, so a core going into the earth, Gaia, think of the earth as the consciousness of Gaia, is, is the energy that nurtures you and is the mothering archetype for you, for humanity. So we draw in that energy from the earth, from Gaia, into the perineum mulabanda root chakra and it goes as if uh, kind of like the nervous system it creates all these um, branches that go into the periphery a little more feel the body feel mulabanda feel um, the extension of where we source earth energy from spiritually and physically. The root chakra, the extension, the connection. And feel as if a sense of peace is spilling over you. It's almost the sensation of peace spilling in each and every cell of your body. It's just it's like a water pouring. It spreads. On a physical level, not on a mind level, not ideas, not thoughts, 
not even emotions, but on a physical level, it's a sense of peace that it's hard to describe. The words fall short. Keep the mulabandha, now you can hold it longer. Before we begin the movement, I want you to hold it for a count of 50. Count for yourself, take breaks. If you can hold it for the entire count of 50 period, take a break and continue from where you ended. So 20, 20, 10, something like that. Mulabandha now, and keep feeling everything though. You're right in there, it's not an unconscious Mulabandha, it's a conscious Mulabandha, let's go. Great, for the rest of the class we're gonna continue with Mulabandha, with the breathing, with the movement. So um, circle or figure eight with the hips. Stay soft in your movement, so it's not an athletic movement but an experience movement. We're experiencing the moment in the body in the moment. And we're feeling that root chakra Mulabandha breath spreading through the nervous system and almost a, a visual, a mental visual of repatterning the nervous system, the, 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 where we hold everything, where we hold the past and the emotions and the memories. So a few breaths of repatterning and it's just, a, it's just an idea. Perfect time now. I'm sourcing um, from the fact that Lilith, Black Moon, enter Taurus, and Lilith is the taboo, the subconscious, the unconscious, the repressed feminine. In Taurus is Gaia, the Earth, the physical body, the vessel, and we have this opportunity to purge what is suppressed, unconscious in the body through this period, and really heal the body through removing things that were we're not aware of before so that we can create a host for the new consciousness all right great hands behind the body and now we're gonna bend the knees shift the hips back figure eight and softening the shoulders, bringing the shoulders into the movement, into the experience. Again, moving in your own personal way. Think of it or imagine it as there is a movement encoded in the body and you're finding the movement, finding the pose. You're just following it. It's already there. And your body also wants to move. So the body takes its own we have moving as the mind leaves the picture, surrender, and the body begins to lead the movement. You know, suddenly you can even get surprised. Maybe there is a movement within you that you've never expressed, never tapped into. And 
the mind those have prevented you from going into that movement. A few more breaths, Mula Banda, Premium. Softness. Soft on the shoulders. Great. Inhale, reach over the head. Exhale, dive. And just, you can just let go here. Almost, almost like finding the tension, tuning into it, and then just letting it go. The contrast helps you to relax more. And finding the places of tension where you hold yourself. You're holding yourself in that way. And just releasing it. One more. And then bend the left knee. Right arm up. And opposite side. Lengthen through the crown, spine elongated. for a vacuum. Inhale, reach over the head. Exhale, dive. Inhale, look ahead, plank. Chaturanga and upward dog. Feel upward dog and downward dog. Moving in place here, feeling. Feeling the spine, imagining the spine decompressing, the supporting muscles along the spine, realigning, letting go, figure eight with the hips again. Banda, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Step it through and take the right arm up in a basic simple twist. Exhale down, plank. Left leg, circles, one, mula banda, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, step it through, take the left arm up, lengthen through the crown, as if the spine is Letting go of all the tension. As if you're gaining an inch from 
the twist and release of tension and compression. Great. Step it back in plank. And again, feel as if you're elongating here. The spine is elongating, decompressing. Take the right leg up and move your right hand somewhere towards the center of the mat for balance. And slowly shift your hand towards the leg and open here. Pull about that. Focus on the floor. And we're gonna change. Step it down and we're gonna walk the hands back to the feet, inhale, come up to standing, wrap the left leg around the right. And we're going to bring the arms this time above the head and wrap them, and wrap them above the head. Ooh. <laughs> Just to add, to add to the challenge, sit back. Unwrap, opposite side, and sit back, and reach up, soften the shoulders, Mula Bandha. And release, exhale, walk your hands to the front plank, take the right leg up, and we're gonna Bring the right knee to the elbow and back with focus and consciousness. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Opposite side. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And just run and up dog. And down dog. Mulabanda. Feel and experience everything. So tune into the moment and if today is not your best day for tuning in, come back. Not every day is the perfect day, every day is its own, its own energy with its own lessons and silver lining. So also surrendering to what we feel, if it's not everything we want to feel, it's fine. Inhale the right leg up, open the knee, lift, lift, lift. And step it behind, wow thing. Lift the hips, open, feel, feel, feel. Side plank, Mula Bandha. Feel the back muscles. And take the hand down, step the right foot through, come up high lunge and look up. Exhale the hands behind, clasping, open. Humble warrior. Lower the forehead down, press into the back heel. Come halfway up, chest parallel to the floor. Open the right shoulder up, feel. It's beautiful. Untangling. And come up to lifting the head up straight and walk the hands towards the left hip with softness. Release. Bring the hands in front of you. Right arm under the left. 
clasp or wrap and lift. Soften the back of the shoulders, the back. And humble warrior. Softening. Release the hands. Plank. Chaturanga. Down dog. Take the left leg up. And open. Feel. Step it behind. Wow thing. Lift the hips. Mulabanda. Feel. Feel the fascia. Feel the nervous system. And side plank. Feel the back muscles. Mulabanda, feel the hips. Down, step it, step it through. High lunge. Exhale the hands behind, interlacing the fingers, open the chest, look up, soften the shoulders, press into the heel. Humble warrior. halfway up and let's open the left shoulder up lengthening through the crown press the back heel straight come up and gently bring the hands to the right hip feel that the head is an extension of the spine and just following the trajectory of the spine in front of you left under the right wrap lift and soften feel the shoulders breathe into them mulabandha feel as if mulabandha spreads relaxation through the body softness the power of surrender the softness of strength and exhale into humble warrior with that clasp with that wrap and plank chaturanga up dog down dog mulabanda again the softness the gentleness so we're not creating tension we're actually finding the strength the strength which also means alignment let's lower the knees down over the floor and push them back and again lower Push it back and lower. Pull the belly in. Push it back two more times. Mula banda belly in. Feel it. Inhale the right leg up. Warrior two. Mulabanda soften into the pose. Reverse. Side angle. Mm. 
mulla banda. Exhale down. And gentle movement here. Just feeling the hips and also feeling the lower back, the spine, the tailbone, the glutes, quadriceps, groin muscles. And you can bring in the entire spine here. Plank, vinyasa. And let's take the left leg up, warrior two. Mulabanda. And feeling that extension. We're nourished by the earth, root chakra. And reverse. And side angle. Turn the palm of the hand down and really lengthen. down and here you can just find alignment for yourself and just move try not to overlap too much with the knee extension on the knee so a little bit of alignment your body will tell you that anyways and just feel the areas your body wants to move into in order to unlock an experience and opening healing a new pattern releasing an old pattern Banda. This is as good as pigeon. And plank. Chaturanga. Up dog. Down dog. <sighs> Inhale the right leg up. Step it through. Warrior one. Again, Mola Banda, close the eyes for a moment, feel the perineum, feel the root chakra, and feel the extension into the nervous system. From that Mola Banda, feel as if it's, if it, as if it's, I want to say, elderberry, when you clean up the elderberries, it's all these little branches that go out the way we imagine the nervous system as well. All this branching out. Kind of like the circulatory system too. Feel the hips and align them, find some alignment for them or not. Feel 
something, something shifting, something aligning, something finding a different place, a different experience. Hands in prayer, you can lift your back heel off the floor to high lunge and twist here. Look down, step your feet together at the front. They can be hip width apart. Chair with a twist. And back to the same. Stepping the left foot back. Vinyasa. Left side, warrior one. And again, focus on Mulabandha root chakra, pelvic fascia, and hips, pelvis experience. As you move into the pose, as you surrender to the pose, as you soften into the pose, feel it. And there is no big mental conclusions here. It's all an experience. It's a visceral experience. We can't explain it. It's, it's very hard to, to bring into the mind. Just feel it. Hands in prayer, lean forward, take the heel off the floor, twist. Look down, step into chair with a twist, and back. Hands on the ground and step into yogic squat at the front with the hands and elbows in prayer. Soften the back muscles and open the chest. over the right shoulder, keep the chin parallel to the floor, opposite. Back to center. Mula Bandha. So Mula Bandha is quite, it's a lot easier in inverted poses, when we're on the floor, um, even standing when we are in those stretching the groin poses it's actually we're not supported by we're going against gravity so it actually it's almost like a resistance exercise with the stretching too it also helps for different reason to find the difference between tension and strength we're only looking for strength here and everything has to the tension uh, leaves as the strength is discovered And now not everybody holds tension there. A lot of people have tension in the stomach, in the shoulders, heart area, neck is very common with throat and face chakra. So everybody is different. But even when we don't hold tension there, a lot of us don't, we still have to work on the 
conscious connection and the strength. And if you're one of the people that holds tension there, then the strength and the consciousness would release the, the tension and build, build alignment. All right, hands on the ground, straighten the legs, forward fold. Soften. Inhale. Halfway up and all the way, hands to the thighs, another vacuum. Release into squat and what is root chakra work without squats? So we're gonna walk, walk in and out into the squat. So walk, center, walk, center. One. Try to connect Mula Bandha to the breath. So engage, release, engage, release. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And now we're gonna walk back. Sit back as if there is literally a chair behind you. Push the booty back, shift, and let's walk. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, Six, one, four, seven, and now walk yourself to a wall in the same manner and sit. Chair, uh, wall, sorry, wall squat. Bringing the lower back into the wall. Shoulders, deepen it, softness and Mulabanda engagement. Go a little deeper, a little lower. Make sure that your ankles are under the knees. Otherwise, bring the ankles a little further out if they're too close to you. We, we're looking for muscle shaking. So go a little lower, all the way down to parallel. And feel the muscles, feel Mula Bandha, feel the strength building. Almost there. All right, hands on the wall. Push yourself off the wall and walk to the front. Exhale, forward foot. Inhale, look ahead. Plank. Chaturanga. Upward dog. Down dog. Inhale, the right leg up. Warrior one. Exhale, the hands behind, chest parallel to the floor, clasping the hands, twist here, and shift into revolving half moon with this twist. And then come up to standing, holding the twist if you can, otherwise re reset, and wrapping, wrapping the left leg around the right. Release the arms into prayer. Twist our um, left elbow to the knee. And change right elbow. And I lost it, I reset. Okay, twist. And a 
unwrap warrior one. Exhale, vinyasa. Left leg, warrior one. Clasp, change the clasp if you prefer to, if you wanna switch it up. Lower down, twist. Revolving half moon with the same clasp twist. Come up to standing, wrap around, sit back, Mula Bandha. Hands in prayer. Elbow to knee. And change. Mula Bandha. Gaze shifting when you can. And warrior one. And straighten the lead knee. Take a wide stance here. Exhale the hands behind. Open. Forward fold. Inhale coming up. Open the feet out. Plie. Hands behind the head. And we're going to slowly move towards the right side and towards the left side. One, two, three, Mula Bandha, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, hands in prayer, and just shift side to side. Great, you can figure it, swirl, Move the hips a little bit here and again, feel it, experience it. And take a little lower plie, whatever is challenging for you. Open the arms out and we're gonna focus on from the hips up area, moving only, shift, center, shift, center. The legs are as steady as they can be. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, Mulabanda, nine, Last one, great, and let's reach over to one side, over to the other, straighten, and bring your hands and knees on the ground, to all fours. Here, we're going to take the right leg off the floor and engage the booty, engage the hamstrings, lift, and then pull the belly in, knee to nose, and again, lift, pull the belly in, knee to nose, lift, 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 changing sides. Mula 
banda great in here we are gonna go into a little more of somatic movement just shifting side to side of course this is not a classic somatic class I have those this is more of a the stuff <laughs> the hybrids I like to I like to share so moving and feeling feeling the hips pelvic anatomy or pelvic structure and gently moving into different areas of the body for the sole purpose of experiencing it or because the body is moving in there Body becomes the guide. And lay down and feel the body sink into the body. Feeling how time and space collapse into oneness. And not only time and space, but all time and all space. Coming up, open the legs out. And forward fold. Again, flex the feet. Let's reach side to side, close the legs, take the left foot on the outside of the right knee, reach, and exhale, twist. the right knee work the foot in towards you here you and you're embodied and from that place we create intention and we take a trajectory for the future now currently and whenever you're doing this class will be just the perfect timing currently depending on when this class posts but Mars is going direct or it just went direct for you and that is the time to really it's go time it's quickening, it's action, and it's also idea coming into fruition, into manifestation, into form, because Mars creates momentum and action. And we intentionally take a trajectory. And when Mars goes direct, it goes into action, whenever that is for us, we take with us, we take the path that is already established by the trajectory. So we're in a place of peace, mindfulness, embodiment, and we can create an intention for action for the future. I'll do classes on Mars too, 
this this was a little bit of everything that's happening now. So of the feet together. We have, as I said, Lily and the Earth, Gaia, consciousness healing the body, purging the past, purging the trauma. The illusion of the trauma is often the key. And those are all spiritual subjects. lay down I want to do one last adjustment so palms of the hands together shoulders drop down lower back onto the floor Mula Bandha. now we work with with ease here with Mula Bandha. it's easier and we're gonna extend the arms with the elbow straight over the head Engage Mula Bandha, pull the belly in. And one more rep. So bring the hands up, shoulders always touching the floor, dropping chest open and reach. I've been including this almost in every class lately. It's a physical therapy meets deep core. Physical therapy for the hips and shoulders actually meets vacuums, deep core, mola banda. It's a very full body move. One more. So reach over. Very important to keep the elbow straight and the shoulders on the ground. Lower back down. So that's here how we engage the pelvis. And with the arms, we engage the upper, the upper abs. It's almost like a vacuum. Great, now you can release your lower back from the floor. So now you have a gap, it's a natural curvature here. And you can just focus on from the chest up area. Here we're just going to reach with the shoulders on the floor and the elbow straight and come up one. Let's do, and there's hummingbird outside, if you can see it, I don't know. Two. They're very fierce and a good omen. Three, they're masculine, the masculine, they represent the masculine. Four, five, very good. Now you can bring your arms out to the side and we're going to just move the pelvis. Uh, now I want you to move it perpendicular to the floor and also up and down. So you can move up, right hip lifts up towards your uh, rib cage, left towards the rib cage and try to keep them level. And just feel this. This is something most people never do. And then side to side lifts. And you feel every little muscle engaging here in this seemingly simple move. And again, shift and shift and shift shift and shift and shift and shift and shift mm. tell yourself all movement is delicious especially simple movement now you can move in any way you want to move as if you're moving in the wind in your feather feather light no structure Free to do, to pause the video here and do this for 15 minutes. That would create a really, really somatic wave of experience. Plow. Soften the throat.
soften the breath. Knees over the ears. And slowly unwrap. Raw. Uh, bring the right knee, cross it over the left, supine twist, shoulders on the ground, look away. And change sides. softness and coming up we will bring the feet down again on the floor soles of the feet and pelvic tilt and just roll your head to the right head to the left that's again from, I did a physical therapy series a few months ago. I did one strong class, one physical therapy class per week, new. So we, we did a lot of those for balancing shoulders and hips and spine, which really balances everything, elbows and wrists and ankles and knees. And All right, one more. So pelvic tilt. You can bring Mulabanda just for final touches on the Mulabanda practice and look over to one side. So you're just rolling the head without the muscle engagement. You just roll out to the side. Center, opposite side. Great, final Mulabanda. So this is, I already did three pelvic classes and we started a little uh, with less mulabandas in the beginning and this is kind of peaking into uh, more and longer holds as this really strengthens the structure and especially the lower back and um, the internal organs and the core. So mulabanda with a pelvic tilt and whenever you need to release and again Mulabanda, I want you to feel Mulabanda as this beautiful lift. You feel the lift, the muscles, the structure, um, even the chakra. You feel the, you feel it's a visceral experience. It's not only physical, it's physical and um, visceral and it, it's just an experience. We're not only working on muscles and bones and structure. We're working on energetic level and also we're working with fascia because Mula Banda really um, can strengthen and bring um, integrity to the fascia, which is what holds this entire container, is the container of everything, all the internal organs. And we'll get ready for for Shavasana. So bring your body, that's optional. You can just lay in Shavasana or you can bring your seat bones to the wall, feet above. I didn't want to make the class a lot longer. So this is all for today. We're just moving into Shavasana now because I have endless poses in my heart. <laughs> we can keep going, but every class has to be its own little self-contained universe and we come to a different universe for the next class <sighs> so bring here we'll feel the knees and the ankles above the hips and that brings uh, almost like a release and everything drops in after a while as the muscles relax we're trying to let the muscles relax 
and the structure will just surrender and drop in. And I found, cleaning up my closet, I found the eye pillow with herbs. And you can make it yourself with flaxseed and chamomile and lavender and lemon balm. So close the eyes and just drop into the body again. Feel the body. Let the shoulders relax. Let the face relax. You can gently remind yourself and, and even out the toes and pull them down towards the legs, which uh, balances the legs so they're not opening to the sides, but they're just aligning. And just stay here and travel, travel within. Get on the waves, they go deeper and deeper towards the inner worlds. Thank you for joining me and I'll see you with my next class and remember to flow with strength and ease.